Hi, welcome to a KTV5 video tutorial. It's sort of a remake, the bügeleisen or ironing plate. And I've changed it, changed it a little bit. I've added that spiral pattern with holes. Apart from that, it's the same exercise. It's a rip and sort of a clever use of that one sketch here. So, let's have fun with KTB5. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the YZ plane. Hide those projected yellow elements, as usual. Now, I want to go for a profile, which could look something like this. Okay. I want to delete those parallel constraints. Now let's add some dimensions. This one and that one. This one and that one. This here. And also that one here. Then this one here. No, I don't want an angle. This should be aligned like that. Okay. Now, let's move this up to that axis. And this one down to this axis. Great. I need a circle should be aligned here and with that point here up there okay now let's trim this okay and there should be a radius and now it should be fully constrained great let's go for edit multi constraint and change those values so this should be 51. This should be 11. This should be 2.5 or column 5. This one should be 11. This one should be 40. And this one should be 22. Confirm, confirm, and I've got my profile for the sweep. So let's leave that sketch. Now I need a second sketch. This will be the path for that sweep. So I want to go for a positioned one. Nope, it was still selected. That's one annoying thing here. So just press escape, then go for the position sketch. Select that plane. I want to swap those two axis and I want to reverse V. Confirm. Now hide those yellow projected elements and I need a profile which looks something like this here. Let's go for a circle or an arc. Let's go over here and close this one here. I don't want those parallel constraints as usual. So I delete them. Now make those two symmetric to that axis here. These two as well. Now add here a tangency constraint looks okay now this should be aligned with that axis here great now one not that i don't want that angle i want to have 
a dimension like this and this could be 180 and the distance to this point here could be 275 huh, that's nice let's go here and drag this here that's not possible so let's make this a little bit smaller 240 yeah and maybe add this radius before this should be 50 and now go for that dimension which should be 180 and let's go back to 275 yeah this should be full constraint so let's leave that sketch as well and now we can do a sweep which is called rip here in part design in Katia. make sure that profile is not in one of those corners which could lead to some sort of error message right here in the middle it's really good so let's go for that rip select that profile here and this one should go around that center curve and confirm okay there are many ways to close this here at the top i want to reuse that sketch too so that sketch too will control the complete part almost so let's show it and i want to make a pad or block an extrusion with that sketch and this should be 40 millimeters so my cap slug is obviously on so let's go for 40 which would mean if i go for a preview that would give me that block okay i don't want that block so the second length you could use uh, negative values here i want to go for minus 29 I make a preview which would give me a plate at the top and the thickness would be 11 millimeter and now I want to thicken that so I can reduce that here so let's go for a thick pad and the thickness to the inside should be at least let's go for 40 just to make sure it will work I will uh, use a bigger value and this should be minus 22 which puts it onto that edge here and now to close that gap here you just have to make this one big enough maybe 100 which should close the gap yeah and okay confirm now in order to make it a little bit more interesting for you i want to add a pattern with holes therefore i switch to generative shape design and i want to add a spiral so the support would be this plane here i need a center point so let's create a point let's yeah and this should be on the y-axis and i want to go for 100 and yeah 100 that should do and that's the point i need a reference direction maybe this one start radius let's make this a little bit let's go for 20 yeah looks good and now let's add some revolutions and make this a little bigger bigger and even bigger let's go for maybe 40. yeah maybe let's try 80. Mm, that's too much so let's settle for 70. 
Mm, still too big, so let's go for 60. Yeah, that's okay. Four revolutions, three revolutions, let's go for four. And confirm. Now, I go back to my party sign, the geometric set, which was uh, created when I inserted that spiral. It's still there, so I want to make a sketch there. And that sketch would be on the XY plane. So I can hide that part body and hide those projected elements. Now I want to go for a projection. I want to project this spiral as construction element into my sketch, like that. Okay and maybe hide that spiral here. Okay, and now I can go for equidistant points, which you find right here, and select that curve, and let's go for maybe um, 80, 80 points. There should be enough for construction. Is this okay? I hope so. Yes. And confirm. Then I want to add some points at the end here, one here, here, and one at the beginning, right there. Okay, and leave that sketch. Yeah. Let's do a hole on this one here. So bring back the part body. Select this point here. Go for the hole tool. Yes, that's okay. And select that plane. Now reverse the direction. 8 millimeter. Yeah, that could be okay. Let's take a look. We can change it afterwards. So confirm. And I want to use this here for a user-defined pattern. And I want to pattern, of course, not the complete part, but just that hole. The positions are in that sketch here. And then make it visible again. Yeah. Because I want to select the anchor point, which is not really visible. There it is. It's very hard to see. There it is. There it is. This should be the anchor, this one. Okay? Keep specifications and confirm. This will take a while. Yeah, this looks good. Nice. Yeah, the spiral is, is recognizable. Yes, definitely. And I'm done. So let's hide that sketch. Hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would really help. You could follow me also on Facebook, GrabCat and Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.